welcome back everyone so today i will be explaining that how to upgrade to windows 11 24 h2 that is the early preview in 2024 so windows 11 24 h2 is set to be released sometime during the second half of 2024 but microsoft is still making the feature update available early to test and improve the operating system before the final release however it's usually not recommended to upgrade early because of bug and other issues during the development process but still if you want to try the new upcoming features then you can install this on your secondary device or any kind of virtual machine so before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe and turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any kind of your pc and laptop problem all right so now you can see that i'm on a windows 11 machine and if I show you the version, so it's Windows 11 version 23H2, that is the OS build 22631.3155. Okay, so this is what we will be upgrading. So what you have to do, you need to click on OK. Now right click on the Windows icon. Then you have to click on Settings. Now here from the left hand menu option, click on Windows Update. Then you have to scroll down a bit and you will find the Windows Insider program. So you will have to click on it and here it says join the windows inside a program so you will have to click on get started and now you have to link an account of microsoft so click on link an account now it will ask you that what kind of account you have work or a school account or microsoft account so i will go with microsoft account then click on continue and now i have to type my email account of microsoft and the password in case if you don't have the microsoft account then you can click on create one and create a new microsoft account and once you are logged in you have to click on continue and now here it says choose your insider channel and you get four different options so you have to choose the dev channel select it then click on continue click on continue again continue and now you will have to click on restart now all right so the windows has been now restarted now once it gets restarted again you will have to bring up your setting so right click on the windows icon then click on settings again click on windows update and now here you have to click on check for update and go ahead and download and install all kind of available update i will click on install all and i will wait until the updates are being completed and you also need to make sure that this option of get the latest update as soon as they are available you have to enable it and once the update are completed again you have to click on check for update as you need to make sure that there is no pending update all right and we are also looking for update that contain the build 26052.1100 and now you can see there are some additional update as well so we will wait until all these update are completed So once all the update will be completed it says restart to install the newest windows feature update so you will have to click on restart now and again you have to wait for some time because it will be applying all the update here okay so finally our windows 11 has been successfully updated now and if i bring up the winver again and now you can see that it says version 24H2 OS build 26058.1100. So now we have successfully updated to version 24H2. And now if I talk about the new feature that are being included in Windows 11 24H2, like if I go to settings now and go to system, then on developer mode here for developers. So now here you'll find a new option that says enable sudo. This is for the sudo command, and if I enable it. It says running the sudo command would expose your device in personal data to security risk. So basically this is for the developer and this is now being added on Windows 11 to 4H2. And a part of this there is a new option being added by the name energy saver mode. So if you go to the system and if you go to the power now and here in the energy saver you will find a new option by the name always use energy saver. 
so this is uh, mostly for the laptop user who are more concerned about their battery backup they can basically enable this option so there are many more options that you can enjoy i will be leaving a link of microsoft blog where you can find all the updated features that are being included in windows 11 to 4 h2 so that's all guys so today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye